Got a nice bin finds, uh, GEC Opti Spin. No one to skip, they're actually in pretty good condition. Um, let's flick it over. Lens need a bit of cleaning, but that's alright. The wiring was pretty mayhem. <laughs> Capacitor like that, that's the ballast. Igniter. Let the earthing and uh, neutral the other way around. So they put the earthing there, but it's not even earth is fitting. That's right, we're going to test it and uh, we'll give it a cold start on this device. Uh, we're going to ener energize the device. Okay, good. Start of polos, pinkish. Nice and bright. I'll check the loading on the meter. Oh, it's running not too fast, pretty slow actually. Probably about 100 watts, something like that. Looks a lot brighter, the camera just uh, makes it less bright. Yeah, guys, too fast. Not cheating there yet. Two is always better than one, and I just open this up. <laughs> Looks really cool. Capacitor decased itself. I don't know where the other part of the casing is. Must have fallen out when the street lights, guys, took it out. But here, that's the way they wire them up. These active on the fuse, neutral in the middle, and then earth there. There might be an earth step there, actually. Yeah, could be. Yeah, there's an earth step there. Normally, uh, Lamps, the middle one is the earth and it's got the screw which goes into the metal, but it's got the earth step on that side. Cool. Okay, I've got this walling. i just uh, more curious about the capacitor, how well that's going to behave, yeah or nay. Let's see what happens in device. Oh, it works. Nice color, green. The second one got a beautiful color. This could be no, that is a sodium. Pretty sure, but it's going white. Beautiful color. Might blow up or whatever. We'll see. It's very white. Shit, that's white. It's not a sodium bulb. I think it's going to blow up. Far out. I'm not going to stand too close. I don't know what it's going to do. 250 watt ballast, I think. Wiring set up.
running this at 100 Hz, so it's, it's intense. If you put it in automatic focus, it will go like this. You get the typical lines in there, and it is very bright. I think this is one of these different colored bulbs. Um, Deanergization process. That's not having a meltdown. I'm taught first. Well, two up to spans are nice, three is even better. Uh, this one has a little bit of damage. But um, we'll see if it works, we're going to energize the device. That looking good, all glowing. The green startup is absolutely amazing. Interesting, the different gases in these lamps, they have such different reactions. Now the right hand side is going white. Right hand side going pure white. Now the orange is coming in. Interesting how the color spectrum shifts on these lamps. That's definitely the peach version. So on the left is 250, middle one is 100 and the right hand side is uh, 250. I'm just gonna put a uh, M meter slash watt meter on there. No, it looks about six, seven hundred watts on that number. Okay, do you know how to sleep on? Okay, I got some metering on here. And I'll just sleep on. Okay, we energize action of that one jumper. And I'll just sleep on. Must be the capacitor. Load is four four eight watts. has gone up to 660 watts almost, 5 ampere. So yeah, now we can work out the losses in the ballast as well, we'll let it warm up fully. The setup is a very rough setup but it works. Seven seven one nine zero zero, I think. comes up pretty quick, the 100 and the other one goes green, blue green. Oh, 
right. Up to 653, 5.5 ampere, 230 volts. Meter is slowly advancing. Meter is happily ticking over. Users on the street lights, uh, voltage. because I'm like looking into the light side spot but the right hand side one is a lot more pink. I think that's the seven, the V is the seven. Okay, so I did been running for about two hours being a giant stiff ice. the afterglow. Beautiful. Final reading. Eight, eight, one, nine, zero, eight, I think. 